Well, Southport is a great facility. Of course, it has a long history, and this is the 75th anniversary of them constructing Southport. It was a former military base. Southport is now doing a lot of rejuvenation, a lot of renovation, and a, a lot of activity under uh, Peggy May as their CEO. We're here in Southport for the sixth annual student competition of Unmanned Systems Canada. The competition starts in earnest tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Unmanned Systems Canada's goal is to educate the public and to build the, the sector. One of the ways we do that is by reaching out to the student community. Uh, we're fostering the students in these universities to think about unmanned aircraft as a possible career as well. They're fostering innovation uh, and as well we're, we're uh, reaching out to the general public by publicizing the competition about what this sector can really offer. In terms of the competition, it runs over two days. Because we had a great turnout this year of 11 teams, that pretty well meant that each team would have one try per each day. We designed a, a nice scenario for the students. We would kind of try to make it uh, similar to what is facing the uh, Canadian unmanned systems industry. So it's trying to uh, design, build and uh, operate unmanned aircraft uh, for agriculture, uh, mining and oil and gas industries. It's not just book learning anymore. They could always do the problems from the textbooks. Uh, this is real world where equations get them to a certain spot. However, when they actually get out here and throw that airplane into the air or do that takeoff, uh, that is where the theory meets reality. And there's many things that you can learn or they have learned uh, from attempting to fly or doing the flights and whether it's successful or not successful, these are lessons learned that they will take with them in their engineering career. Being on a university team is important because you gain the hands-on skills and then being able to go to a competition and compete with other teams and meet other students is important. We, we learn a lot about other universities, we learn a lot about what other teams are doing and we can share our knowledge that way and sort of have a bit of a back and forth. And also just to be able to be proud of what we build and what we design is really important for your confidence as an engineer and, and just something to look back on as a memory. The key feature for companies to remember is that this is moving forward like a freight train and it will uh, eventually be a very viable commercial sector worth billions of dollars. And as we move forward with uh, regulations with Transport Canada to the point where we now or will have uh, certification standards for pilots, this facility would be an ideal location for that sort of training to take place. Facilities here are, are great. Uh, the organizing committee loves it. Uh, the teams love it. The accommodations are great on site, uh, nearby. Uh, the buildings uh, where teams are set up for, for work is, is excellent. It's great. There's lots of, of room. And here uh, you see the airport uh, and the airspace. It's just uh, amazing. A um, lot of open skies, lots of room. And uh, we hope to be back uh, sometime soon hosting one of the next editions of this competition.